Okay, so here we are again, Duncan Rumper. So let's start off by hmm. Let's have a look at that camera. See if we can get any Monokuma coins. I can't let anything distract me right now. Right, so look at her. I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touch her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She... really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Alright, let's go around and talk to people. Fumi? Kaisis is crashed. We start now. Please wait a moment. To her? What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They. <laughs> we can't run away from the situation, so we have to shoot. So we have no choice but to move forward. Come on, man, let me out of here. Come on, somebody let me out. Huh? Is this really happening? Screw that piece of shit bear. Hey. Before we start searching for Sakura's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay then, we can't let Mundo. We can let Mundo look after the scene. <laughs> also, I've made her more childlike to like put a di bigger difference there. Uh, well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you! So then. Fine. I'll stay on, the, on guard duty there at guard duty as well. There, that way there's no problem. Two player co-op base defense with two of them. With your stack, you're totally OP. So which we won't be able to help investigate. We're putting our faith in the rest of you. But I'm I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. What the heck? I hate this! But still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? Uh oh. She died in Makoto's storm. Ah. What? She. What? She's right! Then <laughs> could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Uh, hold, hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I traded I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she she was afraid. <laughs> you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. Look in everyone's eyes had a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? I'd rather if you get I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. Zack Kayoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. 
And just like that, Kyo and just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm a god, Judy, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, mm. uh, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave that goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sayaka run off. So, um... Secure even. Secure, secure, hey, I'm not the night the dead beats so alive, but I'm starting to feel alive. But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We, we, we don't we, we really have to do anything in p p particular. We, we... We already know who killed k k killed Sayaka. What are you implying? It, it was you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Mm. Don't go any closer. Are you going, going to kill, k kill me next? Um. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Give it a shot. What, killing her? Fucking hell, are ya? It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um. That's true. We may as well at least check, just to check. Even if I were w wanted to, I I couldn't c couldn't help him investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I I I'm not good 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 with b b b b b blood. All it takes is a w w one glimpse, and I b b black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better get going. Whoa, wait, don't go yet. You have to get me out. But it was pointless. Everyone has already left. And their parting looks at me. It's still fit being filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Mons. Maze, no. The time of death is estimated to be uh, around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in a dormitory. All but evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth, so that we can all survive, and for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the truth but section of your handbook. Right, okay, now we can have a proper look around. Someone's spying on us with that camera, but who is it and what for? Aren't you going to help investigate your hero? Um, but I, I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I, I have to stay with her. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... Oh shit, hang on. I've already read that. Oh uh, no, Rim! I seriously don't want to die here. Help me. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Right, okay, screen and out. That's it, the Monica, Monica. Mo that's it! The, mon the, the monitor Monokuma always shows up on. There's gotta be a clue here. 
Or not. I better get back to the investigation. Right, okay, let's go. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. That's it. Uh, hang on. Yeah. But we did get Monokuma to coin, even not a token. Oh shit! No, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Um. Right. So. Look in here and then go to my room or Makoto's room or whatever. To force us into a situation like this, what the hell do they want from us? First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse has still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Right, so far left. Right, okay. The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. The tool is still in the toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense. I mean... Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, Mondo? What? Oh, Mondo? We ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you have a new shore? See for them? What? Not just what? me. Nobody's busted out theirs yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys here have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Huh? Looking at the limb roller? It looks like there's way less here than there was before. Did Siaka say how dirty my room was and decide to clean it up a little? Probably not. Something's probably happened with it. A surveillance camera. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening, they just keep on watching. This is the this is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself until now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember that coating, the coating sticks to you. I remember the coating sticks to you even if, oh, the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword has been added to the droopered section of your handbook. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, uh, that's. Ah, uh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Siaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that was true, then. How did the kid get into the room in the first place? Could Siaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm, even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Siaka was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. She couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Her... 
There are scratches and gorges and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you can know. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of struggle has been added to, to the truth by this section of your handbook. Hopefully that's got her thing. Because that's probably an important bit. Right, so... Yeah, that katana. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus the sword speed. It's chief, so... Huh? There's some scratches on the chief. They must have been made with something sharp. But how does chief get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used a sword during a struggle, it doesn't make sense for the chief to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It, would, it could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Well, someone was probably using it as defense, weren't they? Like, when you're having a sword battle, you hold that, and you hold, well, not usually, well, it doesn't have to be a sword battle, but you hold it up, and then the, even if the person's attacking over you, you've still got that there protecting you. I haven't been in a sword fight, I just know physical theatre and drama stuff. Well, I've been in a fight, just not with fucking swords and stuff. There are gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Rough sex. Bit of rough sex and murder. It's like prostitution, if you can't afford it, kill her. Right, okay, so... Go in that door last. But everything on the ground's been done now. Yes. Okay. What's that item that it's trying to get me to look at? Oh, shit. No, okay. That's the door. Fine. Right. Sakura, do you, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether you or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. By the way, you know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The kid could have destroyed, already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found a body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. It, yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! Anyone who raises a hand to a woman is scum that serves death. That's what my brother taught me. So if I ever find this son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound it in his goddamn face in. But but what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my Did room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. 
Could someone have used it to... Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it and someone used your linter artifact to your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well. That's the question, isn't it? 